everybody. Tech Fest 2007. I ran into my old friend Andy Wilson. Uh, now, Andy actually gave me a demo. You can uh, watch it online of Play Anywhere. This was a few months ago. And now I've noticed you guys, uh, it looks like you've made some great strides, some progress. Why don't you tell me about what you guys are showing off today, uh, Microsoft Research. So this is a system we call Play Together, and the idea really is to take two Play Anywhere units, yeah. and we've networked them together. You've got a, a piece of paper yep. uh, and a chessboard and a projector. Right, so we got the same unit with a projector and everything. And the, now the piece of paper is, is basically tracked by the system. So you notice as I, as I move the piece of paper around, uh, things happen. Yeah. So now, now what's going to happen is like one of you, like you're going yeah. to draw. Oh, and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna draw. And notice, like so you, I'm gonna draw now. Yeah, well, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Now you see my hands over there. All right. So if you put your hands back in the over there, you'll see that. Um, yeah. So. So now, if you watch that scene, so I can draw. And so you get all those nice intangible qualities of, you know, you can see my hands go in, you can see the stroke that I'm about to make. And so it's just a, it's, it's completely unmediated, right? Whereas most video conferencing systems, you have this, this kind of funny uh, cursors and icons and all the sort of uh, trappings of, of modern uh, UI. Here we have none of that. It's just completely natural. And so that's, and notice as I move my, the, the piece of paper around, um, there's an alignment that happens, and so that, that happens all automatically using image processing techniques. But that's the idea. And now what have we got? Uh, what, what is this going on over here? Okay, so this is a, a new demo, and uh, what we've got here is this, this little game. So this is also a tabletop system, except now now, okay. think, now think 3D. All right. right. So this is a two, what I've shown you here, uh, Play Together is basically a 2D system, but okay. now this is a 3D system. So if you could hand me that, uh, that yeah. controller, so this is a 360 controller, uh, this is a program that's written in XNA, okay. and what we've got here is a little graphical car yeah. running around. Notice as as I drive around, he goes right up the piece of cardboard, so he just behaves in the, in the right way. So there's nothing special about that cardboard, right? This is just construction paper I picked up somewhere and and cut up and folded this morning. Um, look over here on this other display, we can see a little bit of how this is is actually happening. Watch this display, the monitor. So this display over here, right? So so notice that there's a 3D mesh, if you will, oh, a graphics me. mesh. Oh, oh. And so Did the, I mess it up? So the, no, no, it's okay. okay. You took your hand out, and then now it's gone. It's so so oh. there's actually a 3D mesh, yeah. it's seeing, that's and that's how it works. So the, we're using a camera that can actually sense depth at every pixel. Yes. And that will, like, crawl <clears> over my hand? Yeah, I should be able to drive. Well, so I've, I've managed to get my car stuck. Yeah. Oh, there's over my wrist. Right over your wrist, yeah. So this is just a fun game, but, you know, uh, I know a lot of you were probably eight-year-old boys at some point and played with matchbox cars. And where do you see this uh, progressing to in the future? Like, what, what is, where, how is this going to be used for, you know, something a little bit more purposeful than crawling over Laura's wrist? Well, so one, um, one interesting application would be, um, say you're an architect. Architects still love, love to use real physical props. And you know, foam core and, and cardstock is still used a lot. Yeah. And so the idea would be, you can still do all that sort of stuff, and you can build like a layout of a of a building or a park or something like that. And that's all reflected here and digitized and brought in the system. Maybe there's some annotation that's projected onto it. Maybe there's somebody in a remote location, like in Play Anywhere, that connects and also adds adds their various. Now let's not, this this can't be an inexpensive piece of hardware. Where I mean. It's obviously not on the market yet, but like, what are you using to create this 3D reading? Well, so that's the that's the magic of the of this camera that we've been working with, okay. and it's a prototype camera. And it's not. That's it there. That's it right there, yeah. And so this is definitely a piece of technology from the future. And how can people find out more about and sort of track your progress and, and keep up with date with what you're doing? Well, so I do have a website. It's research.microsoft.com. Twiddle A Wilson. And there are some papers there. There's nothing about this system because okay. it literally started working like. A uh, couple days ago. Okay. So and working. I'm sorry. Research. research at Microsoft. Com. Forward slash or something. Twiddle A Wilson. Twiddle. You know. Twiddle. 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 That's we all know Twiddle, right? Thing. Right, right. right. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is awesome. This is a good time. You have one of the coolest jobs here at Tech Fest, it's, it's except so for mine. <laughs>